Okay. So it's like going on 3 o'clock in the morning. And it's September 26, 2016. I'm just documenting that my little 7 second video got removed because I'm being cyber stalked and cyber harassed on YouTube in part through the Dunkle Clan and John's extended family and through this website called GMOI get off my internet and in partnership I think with YouTube because YouTube has a lot of discrepancies yeah so anyway I documented the discrepancies on this new upload which only has three views at this point but I'm not gonna sit here all night and wait and see what happens right I guess we'll find out in the morning okay so I haven't gone to sleep yet so we're just gonna document four views one of them is mine <laughs> okay I still have a window up right but the fourth viewer that came in which is technically the third viewer because one of them is mine so really only three supposedly genuine YouTube users have visited this video and already is cyber stalking with their thumbs down and this is this is pretty standard because the video that they managed to get flagged and taken down okay only had 13 views and we know one of them was mine right so what is that telling you that tells you that YouTube singles out um, channel creators that we don't get paid for doing our videos nobody pays me to do a video and I don't monetize none of that stuff and you know they're recruiting a troll network from my understanding under a volunteer base and they're giving them trinkets as rewards to, to, to basically do what's been going on happening to me since Uncle John went missing basically right this is I feel like my my channel has been like a little bit of a test site because it's gonna be a little harder to come in with these thumbs down en masse on a larger channel say like Alex Jones or you know those guys that have like 500,000 subscribers or 300,000 subscribers or a million subscribers it's gonna be much harder to do what is being done to me to them because the thumbs up in terms of the people visiting those videos for whatever reason that they visit them for will outweigh any thumbs down coming into four views and already out of three original views supposedly from original YouTube users that don't hide behind YouTube fake user accounts you know it's kinda hard to hide that one do you see that people and that's why they're doing it right that that's why these this that's why that's why nothing is being done with this website GMOI but instead they're ta they're attacking outspoken people that don't fit their format to promote their agenda their political agenda okay because this is politics now now you're getting into politics because they're muting the nonprofit by continuing to do this and YouTube is enabling that to happen because they don't do anything to put checks and balances in for the troll network that does this kind of stuff if anything they're in partnership with them so I stand I stand with what I say on this on this last video upload YouTube is turning into a hate website and that's really freaking sad like <laughs> after since 2009 and we're going into 2017 so that's nine 
10, so 9. I don't know when it was, when my son opened this one up for me. So we'll just say 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I've had this channel now for, well, 8 years. And this is what it's come to. And this is supposed to be considered good business practices in terms of a corporation that promotes itself as a user-friendly, uh, you know, sharing of information and that type of stuff. There's nothing user-friendly about it because when you go into my older videos, well, all we really have to go into is my copyrights copyright notices YouTube has been trying to control me for a long time there they are anything to do with promoting community wellness and charity that's all charity people charity and community wellness right all copyrighted because that's not what these people want Right, they don't, um, there are so many people out there that just don't want community wealth to, to establish itself in our society. Uh, really, really.